we need highly creative people in this culture now because without that we're lost you can't have just people a b c d e f you got to have people that can wheel and deal with ideas and concepts and stuff to be able to take this and this and make something completely different with it There's this, this kind of amazing uh, experience of seeing and feeling and experiencing the direct power of the creativity. It's like a, it's like a force, like the air we breathe. We're all breathing the same air in this room right now. When, when people are working together around the intention of being creative and doing creative work, there's a kind of energetic level in the room that raises everybody's ability to a higher level. And it's, it's like if you've ever seen musicians improvising together. They're just making this up as they go, but the music is just exquisite. They're in that flow of that creativity. The same thing happens in the classroom. We are all rising to the highest level of our imaginative abilities. And it's wonderful to be in that state. It's a state of timelessness, a state of peace, a state of harmony, a state of ecstasy, a state of joy, a place in which time stops. It's uh, an amazing uh, journey and a, and a wonderful kind of place to be operating from. And this happens all the time when we are in the, in the classroom with these kids. They're having these experiences and we're having these experiences along with them. I was in my 40s when I had the vision for inner city arts. I spent about 20 years as an artist working on, only by myself in my own studio, almost like a hermit. And then I was thinking about my life and wondering, what can I do? Why am I here? What is my purpose? What, what is it about this world? What, you know, I had all these questions. And then I had this vision. In the silence of my meditation, this voice said, get an art space for kids. And at first I thought, ah, I can't do that. But then I thought, well, wait a second. What if this voice is really from the mystery of God, from the mystery of life? And I said, you have to prove it to me. So almost immediately a couple of things that some people would say were just coincidences, uh, happened and I knew that they were kind of a verification of this whole thing. And so I, I listened to that and I said, I'll do it. And then when I said yes to this vision, it was as if I was given uh, an assignment by the universe. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. And I, when I said yes to that, I kind of, it's kind of like I joined, I joined something. I don't know, I became a part of something that I was never a part of before. And now working with these children, I see the value and the importance of creativity and all of us here are a like mind in terms of our ability to help children find their own equilibrium, their own balance in their own creative and imaginative worlds. And so we create together an environment that is highly conducive to exploration and to creative uh, uh, problem solving and that's what we do.